Some practitioners can see their internal organs and meridians through introspection. Visualization has always been a convenient method of practice in Buddhism, and Taoism also has a similar introspection method called Kun Si. In the West, visualization is called meditation, and scientific research has shown that this kind of meditation training can change the human brain and stimulate human potential. Therefore, modern people regard it as a way to cultivate oneself and improve the mind, and it is no longer a special practice method for religious practitioners. Today, we will talk about what visualization is and how to visualize. Hello everyone, welcome to CNS TV. Visualization is the observation of the mind and the thinking of the mind. In the Buddhist practice system, some visualization methods often require you to visualize, such as Buddha, Guanyin, Arhat, or a certain teacher, such as the white bone visualization or the impurity visualization, etc. In fact, visualization includes two parts, visualization and thinking. You need to start with thinking and then observe, just like you need to see something before you can observe it. Thinking is different from thought. This thinking is the phenomenon of the separate function of the sixth consciousness, while thought is the fundamental phenomenon of the sixth consciousness. That is to say, thinking is easier than thought. For example, when I say the Statue of Liberty, the image of the Statue of Liberty appears in everyone's mind. This is thinking. You only need to have an impression of this thing, and when it is mentioned, the image will come to your mind. This is thinking. However, at this time, you need to fix this image and focus on the image of the banknote. You don't need to extend the image of how you want to spend the money, otherwise it will become a delusion. You need to focus on this thing and not expand it. This is concentration of mind, and this is the success of thinking. Otherwise, the extra imagination will become delusion, and you will experience anxiety if you think about getting rich or getting something but fail to achieve it. Therefore, you need to think about this thing, then fix the image, and then realize that it is just an image. You are not obsessed with it or have any other ideas. This is a kind of training for thinking, training your mind not to be agitated. Thinking is easy, but it is not so simple to fix thinking. The key to training thinking is to stop. What is observation? Observation means that the degree of thinking becomes deeper. For example, you imagine a person or a statue of Buddha, but you need to forget whether it is real or imagined. Let it stay in your consciousness forever, no matter what you do, talk to people, do things, eat, or walk. The statue of Buddha or the person you imagined is like a decoration, and it just stays there and never moves. This is observation. Observation is not done with the eyes, but with the heart. Therefore, thinking is rough, and observation is fine. The realm of visualization belongs to thought. This thought is similar to the Taoist Kun Tzu that we will talk about later. The realm of visualization is to achieve the state of mind that never moves. The mind is staying, no matter what image appears, and it does not affect you or cause you any mental disturbance. This is called observation. This is an intentional imagination created. Observation requires stop. If you cannot stop, it will become delusion. Visualization is a mirror created by consciousness. For example, to visualize a bright spot, you need to visualize a light or candle first. After you see the image of the light clearly, you need to deeply engrave it in your consciousness so that there is always a bright spot in your consciousness. This is closing the image. After it is closed, don't move it. No matter what you do or where you are, you need to have this bright spot in your consciousness. Slowly, the imagined bright spot will become clearer and clearer, and delusions will become fewer and fewer until there are no more delusions. Only this bright spot remains, and the mind is clear and bright, which is a success. Now let's talk about Taoist Kun Tzu. It is slightly different from visualization. Kun means the storage of ideas, and Si means clear thinking. Kun Si is also called Kun Shang, storage of ideas, 
which means to introspect the image and activity status of a certain object or deity, or to introspect the internal scenery of the body, such as organs, bones, and spirits, or the external scenery, such as the sun, moon, light, mythical beasts, and eight trigrams, in order to concentrate the mind and remove impurities and enter the realm of selflessness. Relatively speaking, if visualization is something you have seen and have an impression of, then Kun Si can be something you have never encountered or seen in real life, such as a dragon. We have only seen it in movies or images, and we have never seen it in real life. Or some anthropomorphic deities that are originally more illusory, their images are described by others. When we imagine these images, it is Kansu. Whether it is visualization or Kansu, there is an important thing. Observe its movement, check its operation, and store it in the mind. This means seeing the image and observing and feeling the aura inside, and then storing it in the mind to let it exist. What is the purpose of doing this? After we Kansu or visualize something, some of the characteristics possessed by this thing will stay in our body and subconscious mind. In other words, we will obtain certain characteristics or corresponding meanings of this thing. For example, the characteristic of fire is upward rising, and this characteristic can promote the circulation of yang qi in our body. Fire can also rise in temperature, emit light, and purify impurities. If you want to practice internal alchemy, you need to obtain the characteristics of fire. Therefore, you can kunsu fire. Many methods require you to visualize the sun and the moon. In addition to the characteristics of yin and yang, the sun and the moon also have the characteristics of nurturing all things. The sun is the growth and development of all things. For our body, it corresponds to purifying the yin impurities in our body and supplementing yang qi. The special feature of kunsu or visualization of the moon is nourishment. For example, when we kunsu some deities, the purpose is to make our body possess some positive characteristics of this deity. In our subconscious mind, there will be a positive and active image of this deity, as well as its characteristics and functions. In other words, we need to let these characteristics or aura stay in our body. Therefore, practicing Kun Si must observe its shape and capture its aura, and store these characteristics or aura in our body. This is the meaning of Kun Si. Whether it is Kun Si or visualization, it is actually a training of our spirit and concentration. It is easy for people to think about things, but it is difficult to concentrate and not to think about irrelevant things. If many delusions and distractions appear during introspection, if you only think without fixing and stopping, then your mind will be led into an endless realm of illusion. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time.